local preservationist effort to save the historic Reeves building faces opposition as city officials plan demolition for new development. Also in our Business Journal Roundtable, Paige Genova shares insights on launching her business, Vital Pelvic Health and Wellness, and the support she received from the community. Those stories and more on today's Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. A local preservationist aims to save the Reeves building in Warren, but its owner and city officials have other plans for the site. The Western Reserve Port Authority bought the building, located at 295 West Market Street near downtown, in March for $525,000. Built in 1926, the city has deemed it uninhabitable and a public nuisance and is seeking grants to demolish it. Warren's Community Development Director Mike Keyes confirmed a demolition order is in place. Once demolished, the site will be part of a mixed-use development proposed by Dillon Corp, a Dayton area developer. Cindy Mines, a preservationist from Champion Township, believes the building can be saved and repurposed. Independent of the Port Authority, Mines submitted a National Register preliminary questionnaire to Ohio's State Preservation Office. The office indicated the building would likely qualify for the National Register of Historic Places, but requested interior photographs to confirm its historic integrity. However, the Port Authority and the city have not consulted entities experienced in historic preservation. According to Keyes, developers estimated a four to five million dollar refurbishment cost. Larry Dillon, president and CEO of Dillon Corp, decided it would be more cost effective to demolish the building and construct something new. Anthony Trevina, the Port Authority executive director expressed respect for Mines preservation efforts, but noted that no developer has been able to restore the building, which has continued to deteriorate over the years. The Business Journal's Next Generation Roundtable took place on May 14th at the Courtyard by Marriott in Canfield. The event brought together local leaders to discuss their efforts in developing the next generation of leadership in the Mahoning Valley. The idea of starting a business wasn't something that I ever had in my mind, but when I really like got out of of the traditional healthcare system and out of the hospital system, I my eyes were opened up to how many resources there were in Youngstown, how much community support there is in Youngstown from other local businesses, how many local businesses there are in Youngstown. And it really just you know, gave me that green light to be like, I can do this. I have no business background, but like I have a passion. There is a patient population that needs help outside of the traditional kind of like medical model. Um, and there's been countless resources at my fingertips since starting my practice. And it's only been two years, but um, I think that that is a really big piece of a way we can promote people to come back to Youngstown. Like Kanisha said, it is a blank canvas. For more information and to view the recorded conversation, visit businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at 717cu.com slash rates.